I'm here with a message for um, all of the cishet white neurotypical abled men. Yes, I actually do believe that you're oppressed. Now, uh, that might be a new thing for you to hear out of, you know, uh, the SJWs. But it's pretty simple. The people oppressing you, well, most of you, are doing so through your labor, your job. When you go to work, you produce a certain amount of value. But for the uh, capitalist corporation, or whatever you work for, to get profit, they have to cut into that. And it's usually pretty steep. Um, actually, far more than taxes, even though you might be surprised to hear this. I also don't like taxes. And no, I'm not an ANCAP. Um, so those two misconceptions, I think, need clearing up. Uh, basically, when we say exploitation, that's what we mean. That bit they take out, it's traditionally something like 33%. But as um, productivity has gone up, um, less workers are involved, uh, this is causing that amount to, you know, get bigger and bigger, whereas our bit we get to keep off of it is not growing at the same pace. Um, at least during the reign of Keynesianism, there was um, a track where productivity matched um, wage rises. It just doesn't track that way anymore, uh, mostly because of a difference in the way that we do business now. Uh, international trade, multinational corporations, yada yada, you know, on and on. And I realized that a lot of people, um, especially on the libertarian right and AMCAPs themselves, are not talking about this system when they say capitalism. That's what we're talking about, though. Uh, you know, the, the anarchist, uh, communist, uh, or libertarian communist, anyway, um, side of things, we, we mean not just markets, because there are market anarchists we get along fine with, um, you know, there's market socialists, it's that particular feature of it that's so harmful, exploitation. And if the uh, workers collectively owned the businesses they worked for, since they are, after all, what generates all of the profit of the business, then the, this would be a way that businesses and corporate, and not, not corporations anymore, but now cooperatives, could continue working. Um, you know, with, without having to actually pay in money the full amount, because that, um, you, you've probably already figured that this is a problem if you're trying to grow, um, that, you know, you can't spend all the money, uh, or you can't give it all to the workers, uh, you know, uh, and expect your company to continue going. So, if workers owned the company, they get the full value of their labor. And that's all we want to, not all we want to do, but <laughs> that's a large portion of the anarcho-communist um, and libertarian communist uh, side of things, what, what we're trying to do. Um, and so, really, it's it's more about being, trying to be more fair, not just like, you know, there's this kind of um, ridiculous uh, caricature of us, like we're we're trying to make everybody, you know, the a, a equal to the worst among us, you know, the worst off among us, and like we'd 
lop off someone's legs if it turned out that someone else couldn't walk or something like that. And it's just not what we're up to. Um, uh, you know, most of these fortunes that you see today, they're not really the product of the person who owns them's hard labor. It's mostly trying to get someone else to work for you. If you can get a lot of people to work for you, then you get rich. And then you spend your money on getting richer. You know, it, it's got a snowballing effect, but it starts with first having to take advantage of another human being. And that is, in my mind at least, extremely predatory. So, um, I'll leave you with just those thoughts, and, uh, well, uh, hope you have a nice day.